the Delfield Quilt Company and I've got this really quick and easy one layer cake project to share with you. And this is a really fast one that you could easily make in one day. And I've got my buddy Sam here. Sam, do you like this? Do you like this quilt, Sam? And it traveled pretty nicely because I took it camping this weekend and I started at home. I just cut it up there and then I put it in a, a clear plastic bag and it traveled perfectly to the camper where I finished it. I pretty much sold it in one afternoon. So it's really quick, fast, and easy. All right, let me show you how I made this one. This layer cake project is very simple. And I'm gonna show you a few ways to just keep everything in order so you don't lose any of your pieces and you get a nice scrappy look at the end. All right, I'm using Spellbound by Sweet Fire Road for Moda. And I picked this one because, well, I love Halloween fabric probably have more Halloween quilts than I do any other quilts I have. And I really like this one because it just it was cute. I like the colors are simple. They're black, orange, and white. You got some cute little cats and witches hats and other things. I just thought this one would make a nice quilt. All right, and to cut this, we're going to cut probably about four at a time. All right, I've got about four here and I just want to make sure I'm keeping all my edges lined up as best I can. Sometimes I find that layer cake cut squares aren't exactly perfect all the time. These ones look pretty good. And if you have a rotating mat, I would suggest you use it for this project just because it makes it so much simpler. And you need a ruler. Okay, basically we're going to cut two inches around all borders, so from all sides. Okay, sometimes these aren't quite 10 inches, and this one's a little bit less. This project is gonna be super simple, and as long as you're consistent in going from the edge to inches, you should be just fine. So I'm gonna just cut two inches on one side, rotate my mat, keep these pieces together if you can. And then I'm going to cut two inches on the other side. And I'm just going to go all the way around until I've cut two inches from each of the four sides. If they get out of place, just squish them back. All right, and when you're done cutting this, you're going to have all these little pieces, some two inch squares a two inch by six inch rectangles and a six inch square in the middle. I'm just going to move these pieces aside. I'm going to just keep them in order. And then I'm going to cut four more and I'm just going to keep cutting four at a time. Okay, so all of my pieces in that layer cake are cut. It really didn't take me too long. I would say probably about 20 minutes or so. And now I'm going to bring these back and I'm going to just mix them up just a little bit. And the only ones that I'm going to mix up are these long rectangle ones on the sides. And I'm going to probably just go about halfway down. And then I'm going to make sure for the other ones that they match this one here. Well, there's two of these, so I better make sure that I've got the right order. Yep. And I'll just put those on the bottom. You could mix these up more. I just wanted the corners to match the middle one, but you could mix up all your piles and have it be real scrappy looking. I want a little bit of order to this, so that's why I only did these outer ones. And to sew this together, it's going to go super quick, because I'm going to sew it in columns, and there is a total of six columns and seven rows in this quilt. And basically, I'm going to sew one column at a time. So I'm going to sew the middle and the right pieces together first, all for that first column, so seven blocks total. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to sew the left side back onto those pieces. And I'm just going to daisy chain all these together and not cut the strings in between the blocks, just so I can keep them all in order. And to start, I'm just going to grab the tops line them up right sides together and then I'm going to sew a quarter inch 
And then without cutting my string, I'm then going to grab the middle section here and right sides together and then the last section here. And then I'll just move on to the other blocks until I have a total of seven blocks to make up that first column. And I'm not even pinning these as I go. I'm just holding them with my fingers. And then I just do the quarter inch on there. pieces together for that first two sides of seven blocks total. Then I'm going to bring it back to the beginning and now I'm going to start sewing on, on the left pieces. Again, I'm not pinning these in place. I and I do have one of those presser foots that has the quarter inch on both sides. That's why you don't have to flip it around. If you only have the one side at quarter inch foot, just flip it to the other side and sew from that direction. Might make it a little bit easier. All right, so I'm almost done with my first column here. Now I just need to press the seams and then sew these together. And to press the seams, I'm just gonna press in one direction for one row and then the opposite direction for the next one. And just repeat that so that when I sew these together, my seams nest nicely. And I'm not cutting them yet. I'm just gonna keep them all attached together. There's part here that did get unattached, that's because my bobbin thread ran out, otherwise I wouldn't have done that. And once you have everything pressed, it's pretty easy to sew the rest of the block together. I'm just going to line up the seams. I might put a few pins in here just because it's a little bit of a bigger piece. And I do like to put my pins right on the seam from both just to make sure I've got this nice and lined up. And then I'm just going to keep going with the rest of these. I'm going to try not to cut the strings apart just to keep them in order, but you may find it easier to cut them at this point because it can get a little bit uh, long of a piece to work with. All right, I'm going to sew these and then I'll show you what the first column looks like when it's all done. Okay, now I have got column one all finished. That came together super quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the same process with the other five columns. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what the finished quilt looks like. And here's how the finished quilt top turned out. I think it turned out pretty good and it was super easy. And again, just one layer cake. And since it was such a portable project, it was perfect for sewing on a nice fall day in my camper. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit our little shop at DelphioQuiltCo.com. Have a wonderful day.